Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at two USB flash drives you should have if you are a Windows user. So you can purchase two USB flash drives for a pretty cheap price nowadays, but so many people don't do this and it causes them major headaches when something goes wrong with their computer. By having these two USB flash drives, it will save you a heap of money and also a heap of trouble. So first off, I will leave two links in the video description for some USB flash drives which you can get. Once you get those, you're going to need to download Iron's Boot CD PE. This is a new Windows PE that they've just updated with Windows 11 support. This has got a ton of tools on here, which is going to help you recover data uh, from your drive if your PC doesn't boot. You can scan for malware on that computer if your PC is infected. You can also back up your data from here. You can reset Windows passwords from this particular toolkit. You can fix a lot of Windows problems by using this particular WinPE. These are very useful to have, and you want to have this before a problem arises with your PC, so you're all ready to go. You can boot to this and basically use this to fix and do a lot of things with uh, your PC. So we've got USB boot in here. There's a little article on this website as well. I'll leave all the links in the video description. You can see here, if you push Alt and E, it will give you the dual UEFI and BIOS mode, which means you can use this on a UEFI system or a BIOS system, which is an old legacy sort of PC. And the UEFI is more a modern computer, which is in the last six years or so. So download Rufus. This is going to be the first tool that you're going to download. You can download the installer or the portable version, depending on how you want to go about doing it. I'm going to download the uh, portable application and uh, use this to create my bootable uh, USB flash drives. So I've got Rufus open and you can see it's set target system to UEFI non-CSM GPT. But if you want to create a dual boot one, then all you need to do is push Alt and E. If you look down the bottom right here, it says dual UEFI and BIOS mode enabled. That means now when I select my ISO image, it's going to be a dual boot. So let's go ahead and we can select our ISO image. I'm going to leave this on disk or ISO image here. Click select and select your ISO. I've already got that done. And now you can see BIOS and UEFI target system is selected. Now you can use uh, MBR. I'm going to leave this as MBR, but there is GPT there for more modern systems, but I'm going to leave this on MBR because it is going to be bootable for BIOS and UEFI mode. The volume label we can leave as the same. And also there's a couple of little advanced options here. This is use Rufus MBR with BIOS ID. And you can also see add fixes for older BIOSes for extra partitions uh, uh, and stuff like that. This is for really old systems. If you want to add that on a really old system, then check mark that one there. But this is not going to be for an older system setup because most of my stuff is all new stuff. So let's take a look here. We're going to leave the volume label as is and large fat 32 as default and leave it as 32 kilobytes as default as well. Click start and it's going to race all the data on that USB flash drive and click OK. This will go ahead and create all this for us. It does take a bit of time, but once it's done, you should be able to have your WinPE or Hiram's Boot CD on there ready to go. The next one you'll want to do is download the Windows ISO, whether it be Windows 11 or Windows 10, you can download and create uh, your bootable USB flash drive with Windows on it. Why would you need this? Well, sometimes you want to fix problems with Windows and you can use the recovery section of this or you can reinstall Windows. So it's going to come in pretty useful. Now, so many times I see people say they don't have a USB flash drive and they don't have this created and it causes so many problems for them. If you buy a couple of cheap USB flash drives and get these prepared, you won't have to worry about this and it can save you a lot of money in the PC repair shop by doing this yourself. You can also download the Windows 10 as well by using the Create Windows 10 installation media if that's what you want to do. And they also do other versions on there. You can still get older obsolete end of life uh, ISOs for uh, Windows as well if you want to, if you're on those older systems. We're sticking with Windows 10 and Windows 11 here. So I'm downloading the media creation tool and we're going to go ahead and create our Windows 10 or Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. So just go through the motions here. 
It's going to get a few things ready. And then you're going to get this option where it says create installation media USB flash drive. So I'm going to leave that on there. You can leave this use recommended, but this will be for your PC. So I'm going to uncheck this and this is going to be for any PC. So we're going to leave the language as is and we're going to create our USB flash drive. Once we click on the next button, you will see your USB flash drive plugged in. This means that you've got two USB flash drives that can get you out of a lot of trouble, whether it be your password reset, backing up your data, running a scan with malware. If your PC doesn't boot, you can run some uh, commands through the command line with the Windows recovery USB that we're building here. These are so useful and you should have these all the time pre-made. So this is what Hiram's Boot CD is. It's a WinPE type environment and it's based on Windows 11 here. It will work with Windows 10 as well. But once this is fully loaded, it does come with some very useful tools inside here. So if you need to uh, do a data recovery or maybe you don't have another PC and you want to run a data recovery or back up your data using one of the backup software inside here, you can do. If you need to reset the PC password on that computer, you can use Hiron's Boot CD. I've made videos on all of these topics and you can check out some of my playlists on all these topics we're talking about. And this will help you use a WinPE a USB flash drive to its best ability. There is tons of things in here you can do with this USB flash drive. As you can see here, hard disk tools, you can scan the hard disk to make sure the drive is working correctly. You can scan an SSD and read the smart on it to make sure the drive is not fouled. There is quite a few things. You can run scans for viruses. You can also do other stuff as well. Repartition drives. Maybe your drive has got corrupted and you can't boot. You can use these two USB flash drives to sit, fix and resolve a lot of these issues. So don't wait for your PC to break and then ask for help on someone's discord or forum you can always have these ready and these will help you fix and resolve a lot of problems this will help you reset the password on that windows machine if you've got locked out maybe you've forgotten your password this will help to fix and reset that password on a local account if it's a, a microsoft account it's a different approach recovering data on that drive you can do this also with this drive also, Disk Genius is another great bit of software, and you'll probably find some of the most uh, useful software on one of these WinPEs that you can get. Now, there's tons of WinPEs out there to choose from. I'm not going to list them all in this video, but this one is a tried and trusted one, and it's pretty useful to have in your arsenal against fixing uh, Windows problems and also getting you out of a jam. Now, let's take a look at the Windows USB flash drive that we've just created here. So I'm going to go next here and we're also going to use this repair your computer. This will help you repair your PC. I see so many times people coming on Discord asking for help and they don't even have a USB flash drive already created. And if you had this already created, it's going to get you out of a big jam. You've got startup repair here. You've got system restore, system recovery image here, uninstall updates. Command line, you can run a bunch of commands from the command line that will help you fix Windows or corrupt Windows installations. You can even uninstall a Windows update if it's gone wrong and that PC will then boot back up. So there's loads of little tools in here which you can use and also a load of commands that you can use to fix Windows. Now I do know that people do love Ventoy and so do I. And Ventoy is so versatile, you can download a bunch of different ISO images and drop them in the ISOs folder and it will then allow you to boot up to different operating systems like Linux and Windows and you can also have all your favorite WinPEs on there and a bunch of other stuff as well. So depending on what your needs are, if you're an advanced user you might want to go down the Ventoy route. You can check some of my previous videos but just having those two USB flash drives will save you a massive headache if something goes wrong with your PC. Anyway with that said let me know in the comments section below what you guys think and what your suggestions are, I'd be happy to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.